Alright, let's try to solve this problem. Sabi, if a worker can pack 28 boxes in 20 minutes, how many boxes can he pack in 2 hours? This is actually a proportion question. And all you have to do is to match the information with kung ano yung information sa kabilang side. So, sa given natin, a worker can pack 28 boxes in 20 minutes. Which means, again, 28 boxes in 20 minutes. Now, sa other side, which is yung nawawalang side, ang tanong ay kung ilan yung dami ng kanyang boxes na mapapak sa loob ng 2 hours. At dahil 2 hours ang sinabi, you have to put dito yung 2 hours. Kaya lang, dito sa side na to, naka-minutes siya. This is very important. I always tell my students this, lalo sa live or sa online review program. Make sure that when you match yung information sa taas, kung boxes ito, boxes ito, Kung minutes ito, dapat minutes din ito. Now, in here, ang sabi 2 hours. So, the first step is actually to convert yung hours, yung 2 hours, into kung ilan yung minutes. I also discussed this no sa conversion of time na video lesson. All you have to do is to multiply 2 by 60. Kasi sa loob ng isang oras, merong 60 minutes. So, the answer here should be 120 minutes. So, dito sa ilalim, ang ilalagay natin, dapat minute form, so 120 minutes. If you got this part wrong, uh, wrong kung lagay nyo dyan, 2 lang, big sabihin kulang yung inyong magiging sagot. So, now that you have this, you can now start um, solving for yung answer. Now, you can actually reduce this to lowest terms, like I talked about in my earlier series, dun sa ratio rotation, at saka dun sa ating vlog mass on uh, simple ratio problems. But uh, in this case, actually, pwede nang hindi kasi yung 120 naman divided by 20 is still very easy to solve. So, 120 divided by 20 is just 6 and then you multiply 6 by 28. Now, if you got confused dito sa ginawa kong ito, uh, there is a video lesson called Gracia Rotation. I'll also link it here in the video. Watch that first. Uh, that's just an alternative kesa kung i-cross multiply ko. Kung i-cross multiply mo kasi yan, ang solution magiging 28 times 120 which is obviously a big number, is equal to, and then you have 20 times x. So, again, medyo tedious, medyo mahaba yung proseso. So, this is just what I do. All I have to do now is to multiply 28 by 6. Now, another trick that I do is this, kasi ang 28 is basically 25 and 3. Ang 25 kasi, for every 4 na 25, that is 100. So, ang anim na 25 is basically 25 times 4 or 25 times 2 or kalahati ng 100, so 50. This is what goes on in my mind when I do speed math. I just want to show you that. Baka makatulong din sa inyo if you start thinking that way. So, this is 150 kung 25 times 6. Kaya lang may extra ka na tatlo, kasi 28 yung imumultiply mo sa 6. So, all I have to do now is to multiply 3 by 6. Madali na matandaan yun, kasi maliit lang yung number. 6, 12, 18. So, you have 150 plus 18. So, my answer would be 100 and 68 boxes. Okay? So, again, you can do that or you can just solve it ng diretsyo, 28 times 6. Pareho rin naman ang kalalabasan kasi 8 times 6 is 48. 4, 2 times 6 is 
12 plus 4, that is 16. So again, it's the same. Kung ano lang yung mas mabilis for, for you. My goal here sa series na ito is to provide you with options sa kung paano nyo isasolve yung program. Hopefully, if one method doesn't work for you, you find another way. That way, pagdating ng exam, ready kayo kung ano man yung question na makakaharap nyo doon. Okay? So, I hope na you learned something new today. If you did, click thumbs up, share this video with your friends kung mag-exam din sila especially para mas marami tayong matulungan. And as always, subscribe to my channel, like my page on Facebook for more content. God bless in your lahat. Never stop learning. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.